come to Bangladesh with me first of all look at that lighting from Heathrow to Saudi six hours this is Saudi airport right now and yeah we were like two three hours uh, look how beautiful that looks and then we made ways to Dakar took like another six hours we got VIP service come one wait for our baggage which didn't even come and then we stepped outside it was humid and smelly and then we took a bus to our private jet yeah private jet and look at the private jet watch yeah <laughs> this is a mini private jet and i don't know who they are they're just bags but yeah so we took the private jet to Silet. i don't know what mom's doing with her hands try to be funny on that you're not funny and then look at this our country is actually flooded you know damn apparently in 24 it's going to be on the war but we move yep we landed all safely and that it took us like what no like no joke from the uk like 21 hours look man sees little baby and that come one little baby in front of bangladesh airport and that what else yeah we go drive to our berry but before that look how beautiful this looks this place here that i snapped this is where we make tea and that yeah there's like tea leaves tea bushes everything oh lord look i found you now here in bangladesh the roads are scary look at this there's no rules on the roads like where did that tuk tuk come from that that cng look where did that guy come from bro like it's dangerous here but yeah where are my ends now look how beautiful bangladesh looks bro i miss this you know and then going up to my yard and that everyone just waiting they've been waiting for like two three hours but it's not our fault because our baggage came at like late, late in the evening isn't it? and then we went on a motorbike ride and the guy that's driving me is 15 years old bro this guy is a maniac look at him bro this guy look he goes fast in like a little like pot and shit and then bro he takes me on the main road thinking it's like the a13 no one show him the a13 because this guy is gonna be mad this guy think bro look at this guy fam. this guy almost killed me like 10 times but yeah but, but look at that scenery it looks beautiful though and then we went to go watch the brazil versus croatia match that one got all hyped and that when brazil scored neymar neymar look that man e even put, the, put like a firework in that what else yeah it was lit and then but this is weird when brazil lost they were all celebrating for croatia yeah, made that sense. Made that make sense. But yeah, look, that man got popped some bangs in the motorbike and the stage two and that. All oh, celebration. But I can't lie. First day was lit still. Day two. Let's go. Start the day off with parata and alubazi with a nice view. Come on. Siam. Nom 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 nom. Yeah, man, just putting on my clothes now because I got a wedding to go to today. I'ma show you like the wedding and everything today. But look, look it got stuck because I forgot to unbutton it. So then I asked mom to come and unbutton it. So yeah, and then she done it and then she ripped the tag off. But yeah, done now, let's go. And then now we're all ready to go, looking all good, ready to take the bobbies on that. So yeah, let's go to the journey now. Look how beautiful the scenery is. Like, come on bro, like, just look at it. Listen, I'm just trying to be like this with someone right now, like, he wants to hop in the motorbike with me in the back. Let's just go on trips. Fuck a car. But then, yeah, look. We arrived to the groom's house. Looks so beautiful. They done up the whole entrance and everything like that. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Pause, man. Pause, man. So, obviously, we're taking pictures. Yeah, obviously, look. Man got inside the groom's car because we're just the boss, innit? And then, like, the convoy settings with the motorbike. Yeah, look. The photographer comes again. There he is. Hey, pause, man. Pause, man. Come on, and then, oh hey, look at this, oh yeah, wait, we got feds, because like, we're sick in it, like, we got security in there, oh hey, look at this garia, oh my god, we saw gay people, oh my god, look at this garias, man, hey, look at this one, ya, astaghfirullah, ya, hawla, I don't have to say it, but yeah, ya, la, ya, la, but then, yeah, look, we snipped it, got it, bag, everyone's cheering and that, and then, this part, they told my mom, and my khala to open the door for like a nice effect and that so gay but yeah just over the camera i look at this oh you know when they zoom into your face with light when you're eating jarring hey hey pause mar pause mar obviously bro this guy's always doing this and that and then look they, that man gave the towel in it yeah why does it have crisp on it it has crisp and then mom said i look good 
So yeah, and she said to just record us because she wants to be on the vlog. And uh, look, obviously me having rice and curry with knife and fork while everyone's having it with their hands. Imagine man's eating doy and I see an ant in there, innit? Yeah, it looks like this little bang, bitch. And then me and my that's my fellow friend, innit? That's my guy, bro. We're going on a walk and then we go on a rickshaw, innit? The rickshaws are dangerous, bro. Trust me, you're slipping everywhere. And then see this parrot there. Bro, this parrot's cute. Instead of Cornetto, yeah, there's Cornelli. Yeah, make that make sense. And then <laughs> three musketeers on the back. And then we go play footy. Bro, so tired, you know. I can't lie, they're not bad, you know. And then at the end, man just on the floor because Harry Kane can't score a fucking penalty. <sighs> but it is what it is, you feel me? Day three, start your morning right. Why is mom just there smiling? But yeah, start your morning right with a nice view, nice tea. Came out the shower, wearing shorts, slapped on the sliders, cause outside is like thirty degrees. So mom just like sunbathing and that. And apparently the UK is like what like minus one and that. But yeah, if I don't catch a tan, then I'm coming back to Dutch again. But yeah, here I'm just deep in here. And what comes first, the chicken or the egg? Cause without the chicken, there's no egg. Without the egg, there's no chicken. You feel me? But yeah. And then me and my boy, we're gonna go to the market, do some shopping, shopping for the house and that. And then look at this. I found you and your best friend just chilling on top of a lorry and that. <laughs> and then we made it to the shop. Look at the shop, looks so nice. Look, this drink speed is better than Tiger. I'm telling you right now. And then, yeah, this is just a shop, whatever. Potatoes on the floor and that mad thing. Rice there, patata done. And then me and my cousin, we went down to the market again. The view's beautiful. We, bro, we almost got run over like five times. Like, motorcycle is no joke in the main city. But then, look at this. Just enjoy the scenery. One moment of silence for the next one. Look. Oh, that sunset, though. That view, the fields. Bro. And then, yeah, look, the kids were walking a goat. And then, yeah, getting ready for the after party and that. Matching outfits and that. And then <laughs> mom wanted to do this. <laughs> I guess it was cute and funny, but yeah. And then now we're going to the restaurant. It was a nice drive though. And then yeah, we're here at the restaurant. And then here, can't lie, we were just all to get pictures and that. Like pause mod. And then I can't lie, the restaurant was actually decent. It was actually not bad. And then here, we took five minutes to find the positioning of where we should stand for the picture. Like long day. And then here, everyone's taking a selfie. Caraman's like zooming in and that. It's cheese, Posmar. And then look, bro, <laughs> this guy's taking the picture of the kneecaps on that mad thing. Look, doing too much. And then the food finally came. Bit hungry and that. And then this guy, yeah, slapped the whole chicken on top of my kebab, bro. But man, demolished that doy. And then me and my boy, we went out for a walk. I swear down, it was actually like bare warm and that. And then we are walking across the road in Bangladesh. It's no joke, you're going to get run over, but we got lucky there. And then the tall with the fat chicken came there. And then everyone tried to like reach in. Mom, like, mom couldn't get it, so then like, she just said, fuck it. And then, yeah, that was the day. Good day, good night. Let's start the day off with Bodru and Shimima. Look at this. Look at Bodru, fam. Oh, and yeah, I'm just taking Bodru on a walk and that. And then I'm saying that I'm going to eat him and that. Haha. <laughs> And then, what's it called? Uh, the Shamima got a bit aggy in it because the worker like cussed out how like, fat she was on that. And then, obviously, Bodro couldn't back it in it. So he just like stared like a little bitch. Oh, yeah, homemade potato fries are the best, bro. They slap. Mum, bro, mum patting me. Bros and shit. Look at this. Bro. Calamari, bro. Uh, chicken popcorn, prawn tamporas, everything. Mum patting it. And then here's the fukri. Yeah, that shit's dirty, bro. And look at this whole bitch, bro. See, see you flying. Look, man tried to bite me, little pussy. And then, yeah, me and my boy went out to shopping. He said I'm going to get married and that. So he was choosing my suit, which was that one. And then, oh, imagine this whole strip here. The whole current, man. It was like a ghost. It was so <laughs> cheap, at the same time. And then, yeah, look at it. Bro, I can't have the streets on mine, bro. And then here, bro, we're lying the roundabout here. Guarantee a crash, but them man don't crash, but we almost crash as well. Then this strip at bro, this strip is at spare traffic and that and mayhem. Look at the tuk tuks and that. 
And yeah, we just went shopping and that because I had to go change my shoes for the wedding tomorrow. Yeah, I can't lie, they look clapped, but it is what it is, you feel me? Me and my cousin twinning. So yeah, and then look at the shops in Bangladesh, it's actually pretty nice, you know, I can't lie. Actually, I can't shit still. But yeah, and they look bold. I'm not know about it, but you know, it's mad. And then yeah, look at the town city. Hip -hop baby. <laughs> and then the famous butter. Look at the butter sandwich on that. And the boat. So this is two lanes. Tell me why we're hogging whole three lanes, bro. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, we're at the Mendy right now. Don't judge me. I'm wearing a tracky in, in the Mendy, innit? Yeah. But yeah. Because yeah, I hate to bro, like, like, man, don't give a shit. And it wasn't like that big of it. And yeah, man's getting feeding. Because my hands don't work. And then you know how normally there's cars and that. We have motorbikes outside the yard. That's how we live it up. And then had to finish the day off with this with a big fat stomach cake. Gang. Day six. Beautiful day. Beautiful weather. Beautiful sun. And today we're just gonna go to my family's yard. Just have a chill day today, innit? You feel me? And then I look man just saw the Eiffel Tower, like come on, that's sick. And then yo here. This roundabout, it's just mad, bro. Look, we were here for like at least five, ten minutes. Bro, them man are crazy. And then I think they hit the back of our car as well. <laughs> Idiots. And then just like more of the view. Look at that sun just shining. Look at the fields. Look at the water. This is going to be flooded anytime soon now. And we made it to the yard. My boy. And then I can't lie, the front yard is actually huge, you know. Yeah, I can't lie. The inside of the yard is nice as well. Like three floors and like what, like seven bedrooms or something. Obviously, home food cooked is the best. And then look, man saw a little frog in that. And then I tried chasing that. And then look, it got shook. Oi, come here. Oi, 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 come here, cuz. And then <laughs> man was <laughs> just bouncing around, fam. And then, uh, yeah, we went to Full Collie. If you know about Full Collie, you, you feel me. Look, they had the like M&M, Snickers, Dairy Milk, everything. Pringles. They had Ribena as well. Yeah, the Cornelli, the Cornetto. Bro, this this just looks like triphobia, I can't even lie. And then, oh, if you know about this, you know about this. Oh, my cousin went to link his girl and his boy tried to follow him, innit? Because that was his girl too. And then, man just had to walk about, saw this back yard and that, like, bare lights flashing. And then, we went on a motorcycle ride, bare foggy. Bro, <laughs> bare foggy and that, I can't even lie. And the yeah, man ended the night with the Morocco. Day seven, we had to start right with Bodro. Unfortunately, he was alone because Shamima was not there. And don't worry about where Shamima is. And then I went to the back garden because look at the view. It's just beautiful. And what can you spoil like a baby goat somewhere? Then we got ready to go to the Wilima, which is the after party. And the mom said to snap this so um, she can do this. <laughs> and then we're on our way. To the after party right now and bro the driver was not pressing the brakes he just kept on going but i can't lie the scenes look beautiful again then we made it to the hall and obviously i had to pick up my diet coat because man's on a diet <laughs> i can't lie it was busy and it was quite dead so let's just take the piss out of people innit? so what can you see here oi, oi, oi. pause mod right, this guy's gonna upload it to his instagram get 10 likes I don't know what this guy is doing, but he's enjoying his time. And then them on our drug dealing with Gua and Fun right now. That's why they're in the corner. Look at all those chickens. Yeah, them are going to get done up. Yeah, the food came, but man never ate because I just wasn't hungry and it was just hot and stuffy. And obviously the cameraman came, so I, I had to join him as well. Arrow and cheese. <laughs> look, man's a Banglo Escobar. Tell me that don't look like Banglo Escobar. And bro, this nana had 10 cigarettes in 10 minutes. That's mad. And then I went to look for mom and just to annoy her as well. Found her. <laughs> and then, yeah, look, I found you and your best friend again, just chilling. Bro, like, I need to do this with someone, bro. Just vibes. And then I went for a walk, the village. I don't know why Brazil's still up. And then Argentina, what? Who's going to win? Argentina or France? And then, yeah, we got badminton stuff. We played badminton for a bit. Bro, look how good I am. Bang, bang, <laughs> he shit, and then, hey, watch this control, watch this touch, watch this touch, 
Oh, see that? You, you can't do that at the end of the night with a nice little night cruise. Day 8 already. Let's start the morning, obviously, with the same thing on top of the roof, enjoying the view. Then we went to Jumma, which is the Friday prayer. And I can't lie, inside it was actually like really nice. And <laughs> look at this kid just breathe. <laughs> then our family from Molly Bazaar came. And um, obviously, there was banging food. Look at this. We had prawn, we had meat, fresh meat curry, we had sticky rice, we had everything in it. Then I went driving through the village for a bit. And then we picked up this carrot board and look, the boots open, so I had to drive extra careful because if I went over speed hump, the carrot board's done. If you man don't know about carrot board, <laughs> you man are living on the rock. This is the best game ever. Then us three cousins, we just went out for like a little cruise just to enjoy ourselves and then we ended up in some dark forest. Like, bro, it was dark. And also, stay until the end because there's, a, there's a, like a special surprise at the end, isn't it? Like a special guest. Bro, man don't know how people just walk in the dark, like... Bro, them are, bro, them are just walking in the dark and then like, we just see one more other person just in the distance. Just like walking in the dark, this guy is not scared. And then we ended up somehow here. We ended up in a wedding. I, bro, I thought I was done with the weddings. But we ended up here. It was one of my cousin's friends and then it was like last second, innit? So we just went to visit. Hey, look, pink toilet tissue. Have you ever seen pink toilet tissue? This is lit. Well, 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 <laughs> Shamima came running back. Don't worry, she ain't dead, she ain't caught up. She just went and apologised to Bodro and then Bodro, being a little bitch, accepted it. So then now he's going to give her a second chance. But if Shamima does this again, trust me, she's getting into a curry. But they're going to have fun on the bed tonight. Look at this. <laughs> Yeah, this is how we're rolling. I'm joking, Karen board, let's go. Obviously, I had to do my little piece of art. Yeah. Everyone's playing for the 50. He missed it. He missed it. What? It's my turn. It's my turn. <laughs> Bang. See, obviously, man's sick. See, look, bro. Man got two 50s. You ain't doing it like me, and he got nothing. And then, <laughs> this guy just had to get this one to, to um, stay in the game. Bro, he missed it. He missed it. It's done. Bang! He's out. Well, yeah, um, I'm out too. Day nine in Bangladesh, and obviously, man on the rooftop having a sunbathe. That's why I do it every morning. Beautiful. And then I go downstairs, find the chicken, start chasing it. Like, oi, 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 come here. <laughs> Look at the way it's running. And then this torch will kill you, trust me. I find this stick here, and then now I'm just trying to look for more chickens. Because it's fun chasing them, <laughs> like the way they run on that. Look, I found the whole gang. I'm just like, oi, 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 <laughs> come here, come here, come here. And then after, we went to the main city because mum needed to do some shopping. And then she wanted to buy plates. I don't know why. Bro, she put three bowls on plates. And then this, if you don't know about this here, this does wonders for your back. Okay, now that's not a bit brazy. And then Sasa has an orange beard. Bro, man needed a Red Bull. Bro, this Spider-Man's thick. Look how thick it is, oh my god. And then, yeah, look, bro, uh, bro, man finally found vapes, you know. But I couldn't buy it because my family was next to me and that. And then they got Eluxes and everything like that, that's mad. And then I went to go buy a speaker because I needed it. And then we went to the hospital because one of my workers, like a helper, he recently just got a baby. So, like, it was mad. And then we went to go get food. Look, look how nice the lights look. Mad grill. This is a spot if you man want to go. Food came. They put kuslo in a bag. <laughs> uh, pizza looked kind of dead. I can't even lie. I can't lie. The whole meal was beautiful again. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. And then we ended the night with a nice carom board. Watch me get this. Watch me get this. Lol. And day 10. Let's start the day with shopping. Hey, watch this here. Ready? I don't know why I started running. We took our Mercedes C300 out. AMG line to where we need to go. Hey, Rehana, Sabiha and Asya, get off the road, please. The man playing football in the field is a vibe. These pineapples, yeah, they will give you stomachache for days. This was actually so crowded. This is worse than Oxford Street. And then, yeah, we finally got the plates ready to, to be packaged and everything. And then we took the lift. Look how nice the lift looks. Like, it's the see-through ones. We're just packaging our, our plates that we spent £300 on. To ever chat shit, yeah, this is going up there. Actually, no, never mind. I'm just trying to deal with someone right now. 
and look they've got the <laughs> double cc's and more dior they have the lashes there trust me they're better than the primark ones they have the rehana skin nails look at this burbidi and bro they have a double decker bus you know i've never seen this in bangladesh it's actually mad this next part is just about argentina and the bangladesh vibes because it's lit this is when argentina got their first penalty and everyone's obviously screaming shouting getting gassed and that this is when messi scored the penalty first eh, bro the scenes were crazy everyone was bashing the wall everyone was cheering doing the dances whatever it was, bro it was lit <laughs> This is when they scored the second goal. Look at LA, bro, the scenes were sick. Everyone just vibes. <laughs> and this is when Mbappe scored the penalty for France. And look at this. Everyone's cheering for France again. Like, I thought they were supporting Argentina. So they're just cheering for both teams right now. This is when Messi scored the third goal. And then everyone thought that they won. Everyone's going crazy. Look at Sasa. Sasa's getting gassed. <laughs> and yeah, this is when Mbappe scored the other penalty. And then, yep, they're still cheering somehow. This is the winning goal for Argentina. It went crazy. Bro, everyone went crazy. Look at this. Everyone's cheering Argentina, Argentina, Argentina. <laughs> yeah, I can't lie. It was vibes. It was vibes. Now here, everyone is chanting, Brazil, Hoy, Argentina, <laughs> yeah, bro, it was active. Bangladesh is actually vibe when it comes to the World Cup. This guy thought he was like the main character, and, like, but yeah, but I can't lie, he done a good job. This was one of the best finals I've ever seen, and especially when Argentina won, well deserved, and everyone's going crazy in the motorbikes. The whole Bangladesh was active. Look at them all, just bro, they were walking for like 45 minutes straight, screaming Argentina, Argentina, Argentina. Day 11, let's go, let's start off with cereal, alobazi, roti, bread and tea. Obviously, we have to check up on Maji, Bodro, Alao Shamima. So today, we're going to go to Umole Bazaar, which is my mom's side, and we're going to stay in my uncle's yard. Look, 40 miles per hour, bro, there's no speed limits, no camera, nothing in Bangladesh. When I got some mishtis and crisps and ice cream and then yeah we arrived in Moli Bazaar, looks flooded. And the yards here, oh, yo, look how beautiful that looks. And then we made it to my uncle's yard. Last time I came here it was with all my cousins and it was just lit and vibes and then like we all like done a barbecue and everything. Everyone meet Dyson, this is our little puppy, he's so cute man. And then this is our baby goat. We got like five of them, but I think we should adopt this for Shamima and Bodro. Yeah, I can't lie, this dog was brazy, bro. I stayed away from that. <laughs> I stayed away from that. And then look, we found Rehana's dad. <laughs> and yeah, this is the footcree. Bro, the footcree is massive. And I remember all the cousins were all here chilling. It was funny. Man almost drowned. Look, he came running to me. And then, and then look. He, Trying to high five and then he almost bit my hand look what and then yeah this cat i don't know where the cat went look watch and then, and then we went for a, a little walk and then just enjoyed the view and then yeah listen to this my uncle drew this from scratch done all this time and effort and it just looks so beautiful look how beautiful that looks appreciate it and he also made these sofas from scratch as well and the floor. He done everything handmade. Dyson knocks over the ball thinking it's funny. But I'm just here just enjoying the peace and quiet. And then here, there, there was a swimming pool here, but we turned it into like a garden. And <laughs> what's this guy doing? This guy's everywhere, bro. <laughs> this guy's playing with a dead bird. And then, yeah, just enjoyed the view. Beautiful relaxation needed, definitely. And then we went out to the town. To explore because I want to see Molly Bazaar town. Quite like it looks like the same as Silit, and I'm joking, it looks so much more peaceful. And then we went to my mum's old house where she grew up in. Yeah, look at this, it's all dark and everything. <laughs> it felt like we were exploring like a haunted house, but I can't lie, it was fun. Like, I wasn't even shook at all. I maybe have shut myself like five times, but it's calm, like, it's like it's there, it? And then we went to my uncle's uh, shop and then yeah, just chilled for a bit. 
motorcycle guy come on easy and then yeah finally made ways back hope you guys enjoyed obviously had to start day 12 with me and dyson and just playing around the garden and then and then him just getting a bit too excited and then we done fishing watch me catch this fish way <laughs> and then now uh, also because my uncle caught a fish but yeah, uh, because we had a fish tank so it was like the easiest like thing to catch but i actually want to do like actual like fishing and the dogs are having rice and curry do you know how funny that is <laughs> and then we came to see our last goodbyes to my mom's dad's side family and it was actually really like nice seeing everyone this is where mm takes his showers and this is where mm takes his uh, number two business then we went down this hill and literally we had to walk across this whole floor to the other side because we because my mom's mom's side of the family was there can't lie the walk was so nice and beautiful because the scenes was obviously just amazing this is where my mom's mom's side all used to like live together all the families here and they're just good seeing like this all again because just brought about like all the memories and that and then here this is where my grandma used to live like she grew up here it's mad to see her, like where she grew up from and like, how she was living on that. And then we made ways to my grandma's brother's house and it's just crazy how he's still living like this. It's mad. And then this is like the village. Then we went to visit mom's other cousins and it was really nice because everyone just had a good time. Then we stopped here because we just got to enjoy the view, look at the scenery again. And then, yeah, we came back to the house, met up with Motu, which is his name, and then they have a nice bird as well. And then after, we just went on a little cruise on the motorcycle around the village, because it does look beautiful. And then, look here, man said the drop-top CNG, do you know how lit that is? <laughs> then we went and found, like, a little festival, and it was actually, like, really nice, because everyone, like, was just together, Everyone was just having a fun time. Like, it was actually like really cute and nice. And then we went out and then, bro, this was about to annihilate us. Oh, my days. I had to get my snack and drink. And then <laughs> look at this baby banana. And this was freshly squeezed lemon juice. Beautiful. Banging. And then we went to my mom's friend's house. Mashallah, they got a really nice house. They fed us really nicely. The burger was actually 10 10. Noodles was 10 10. Everything was tense, and then we came home in the fog. It's dark and scary with the fog. And then, obviously, had to end the night with Bideshi and Dyson. Man said the man said the other dogs in Bideshi love. Day fourteen, let's start with some fita biran and some tea. And today we're gonna go to some like go ape type stuff, whatever. But yeah, come on the journey with us. Hey, look at this. This will kill someone on the road. That's a nice bear slow. And uh, this is Adventure World. Apparently, that's like the best theme park, better than Fort Park, where half the rides don't work. And then we came to my uncle's house first to chill. Mashallah, really beautiful place. Had some baklava and laddu. And then we played football. Look, 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 bro, look, watch me skill this. Whoa, this guy tried to slide tackle me. See, mad. <laughs> but yeah, it was funny. And then we played some FIFA 23. It was fun. I obviously beat him. And then we went to the place there. Bro, this car is too big, man. Too big. And then we finally made it. I can't lie. It was nice scenery. There's people riding a bike over the water. <laughs> That's funny. And then we go climb up. Not climb up. Walk up. And then more walking. But I can't lie. Like, it was a nice view still. Obviously, we have to strap up for the safety. We have to go from there to there to there. And that was literally all the course. Wow, so fun. And then look, there's a swing. Obviously, I had to get on that. Wee! <laughs> yeah, and then he was shitting bricks. I can't lie, but he made it. And then, yeah, you think a man's getting on that? I'm joking. Obviously, I did. I can't lie, it was so fun. It was actually bare fun. And then it's his turn. Look at him. Man's having the time of his life. <laughs> Obviously, I had to show like, the little scene again. And then, oof, that sunset was beautiful. And then imagine they had to make us take all this stuff all day back up to the top of the hill like what the hell is this and then this bridge yeah i swear down this bridge was on its last life and then obviously played some badminton watch how good i am bang shit bang shit bang haha <laughs> that's 
there's obviously Asio, Rihanna, Nadia, they're always everywhere, innit? And then I got fascinated by a train station because I've never seen one in Bangladesh, but yeah. And then we went through the dark, yeah. And then this person was walking in the dark by themselves. Like, oh, they're not scared, but this Bangladesh is crazy. And then obviously we had to get the fish. Like, we're not Bongoli without fishes, come on. And then obviously end the night with Karen board, and obviously we won. Day 15 already. It went quick, but yeah, I had to start off with sunbathing. And then my family came to come and pick us up. Because we're going to go to the Grand Sultan, which I will show you later on in this vlog. I had to see our last good to Dyson. He was a cute little puppy. But then, yeah, we also done fishing just before we left as well. <laughs> and my auntie caught one. And, yeah, beautiful house, mashallah. And this is when everyone's leaving. And motto, we're going to miss you, fat cow. And then here we're making ways to, I think it's Shumanganj. But, yeah, wherever. And then this is that tea garden. Bro, this tea garden is everywhere, you know. But this one was massive. Here we made it to Grand Sultan. And it looked beautiful from the outside already. Here, bro, there was some like... I don't even know what product was sprayed on us. But mom, <laughs> but mom didn't want to get hit by it. And then, yeah, look at this. Look how beautiful this looks. Beautiful sun. Beautiful buildings. Just straight vibes. Honestly, peaceful and just relaxing. And then here, walking across the bridge, just enjoying the view and the scenery. Obviously, I had to get the orange light in, looking bummy because man needs a trim. Man's not taking a trim in Bangladesh ever. But here, everyone's playing cricket, but it was only the guests that were staying allowed. Here, we're going up to the restaurant. Eat Mubarak, people. Yeah, I can't lie, the food, I'll give a strong 8 out of 10. And then obviously, I had to get Oreo cheesecake. And here, the Adhan was playing and it was just beautiful. Like, everyone was just there, just listening to it, enjoying the view. Yeah, this looks sick, I can't lie. <laughs> Someone's wardrobe's gonna get broken. And then we went to some restaurant called Mama Buddy after. And then, yeah, I can't lie, it was alright, you know. And then, yeah, we just got bare pineapples, like, bare pineapple. Look, we got, like, two big bags. And then, obviously, Bodro and Shimima had to be covered. Bunch 